Hi everyone, it's Vanessa. I'm here today to share with you my middle grade March TBR, which is super exciting. I also will share two recommendations for each of the challenges and categories. I'm hoping to get to all of these books, but I have other things on my plate as well in March, so we'll see exactly what it is that happens. I should say middle grade March is hosted by Krista from Books and Jams, Katie from uh, Life Between Words, and Amanda at The Curly Reader, and I'll leave all their information down below if you don't know about this. So one of the things for this year is that there is a group read and that's The Brave by James Bird. I also have this on audiobook because I, it was a Libra FM advanced listeners copy so that's ready to go. I'm excited about this. I've heard good things but I've also heard other like more mixed things so we'll see what I think by reading this book. So the first challenge is to read a book with a silhouette on the front cover. I selected to read Small Spaces for this challenge. This is a book that has been on my TBR for a very long time. All I know is that it has spooky vibes and there's a mystery happening and something about a field trip and getting lost. For my recommendations to you of books that have silhouettes on the cover, I would suggest We Dream of Space by Erin Entrada Kelly. This is her new release from last year. It's a really lovely story about family that maybe is not as functional as they should be. It's a good timepiece of the 1980s and the Challenger disaster. And I think what she really pins down is creating really flawed and three-dimensional characters who also have dreams and goals in these three siblings that we're following in this book. And then my second recommendation for you is Maybe He Just Likes You. This is another book that I really, really enjoyed from last year. And it talks about harassment that girls are facing from their peers in a school. What I most loved about this is how genuine and authentic it felt. It felt like something that could actually happen to kids and it doesn't focus so much on like the really traumatic things that happen to kids with adults when it comes to abuse and harassment. Instead looks at more of the peer-to-peer -peer relationship and what is acceptable and what is not acceptable. What is teasing and what is crossing a line. The second challenge is to read a book about family or found family. And I decided I'm going to read All Spare in Middle School by Victoria Jameson. I've never read this graphic novel. I've read uh, a few others by her, but not this one. So I have it on hold from the library and I'm waiting for both Small Spaces and All Spare. And I'm excited about this one. I just know it has to do with her surviving her family who runs Renaissance fairs. And then her going to school, I believe, from being a homeschool kid to going to public school. And then my recommendations for family are The Land of the Cranes by Aida Salazar, which is one that I read last year. And it looks at what happens to families who are broken up by ice, what it's like to be in the limbo of a deportation and being stuck in these facilities. I thought that it was a great look at both the young narrator's relationship with her mother and her father and it was very poetic and beautiful it's a book in verse if you like that kind of thing i recommend it and then my second one is a little bit more uplifting i wanted to give an uplifting recommendation as well as a more heavy recommendation so my more uplifting recommendation is witches of brooklyn by sophie escabase and it's one that i read just last month yes she is meeting extended family that she didn't know about but it also feels like found family because she didn't grow up with these two aunts that she is now left with it's a really lovely story about how this family develops, seeing their relationships with each other just made me smile reading it. So it's one that I recommend to you and it's a graphic novel as well, so it'd be a quick one if you're looking for something quicker. Okay, then the next challenge is to read a book feature featuring a journey or an adventure. And for this one, I think I'm going to read Nevermore, The Trials of Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend. I've only been recommending this to every child at my library that comes for recommendations for fantasy for the last, I don't know, two years. So I want to try it out myself. The audiobook is available. I have the book here. Fantasy is never my thing when it comes to middle grade or really any fiction in general that I read, but I really am curious because the way that people describe the the magical elements in this book have piqued my interest. So I'm gonna give it a shot and um, I mean if I don't finish it, if it's not for me then fine, but I'm gonna try it. I feel like it's been a comfort read for a lot of people too and I'm looking forward to that. And then my two recommendations for you, um, one is fantasy and one is more realistic and historical. The fantasy one is called The Creature of the Pines and this is book number one in the Unicorn Rescue Society. I've read this because it was one that we were going to schools and talking about and I hadn't read it and I wanted to be knowledgeable before I went and talked to kids about it and I found that I really loved this book it was really really fast-paced it was really fun to see the relationships between the friends and also the relationships between the friends and the authority figures the adults in the book and then the second one is a historical fiction book that I read last year and that's Letters from Cuba this is by Ruth Behar I really really enjoyed this book this is actually a journey because she leaves Poland 
to go to Cuba to join her father to raise money to then get the rest of her family to join them in Cuba and escape the ratcheting tensions that are happening in Europe with Nazi Germany taking over. It's about her journey over on a boat and then also what happens when she gets there and what kinds of friends she makes and it's a really really delightful really heartwarming read and it's a book that the main character has so much confidence about herself that I really enjoyed reading about. And then for a retelling, I am going to read Where the Mountain Meets the Moon by Grace Lynn. This is a classic. I've been really looking forward to reading this one. I looked up what the retelling was or like what the myth and folklore was um, and I've already forgotten it, but that's okay. I'm gonna read it and find out about it. One thing I really enjoy is the way that the book is printed inside it's really beautiful and it also has illustrations inside like this one right here so it's really quite a pretty book and i will also listen to this one as well so i'm excited to read this classic by grace lynn for me recommending to you i have two and one of them is baba yaga's assistant this is a graphic novel by marika makula and it's uh, illustrated by emily carroll whose illustrations i love and this is a retelling of a russian folktale kind of creepy kind of fun um and a nice quick read and mostly i love this for the illustrations and then the second one is a book that i just finished this month and that's when you trap a tiger by tate keller this one the newberry this year and i really really enjoyed this book i'll talk more about it in my wrap up for sure but it is based on korean folk tales and it is interspersed in the book different folk tales that the granddaughter is told by her grandmother mixing that with like real life contemporary middle grade which i also really really enjoyed it was fantastic on audiobook it's a book that i read really quickly and i would definitely recommend if you are still looking for a retelling and then the last challenge is to read a book set in the decade that you were born for me that's the 90s i'm a 90s baby and the book that i'm going to read i don't have on me because i'm still on hold waiting for it and it's walk to moons by sharon creech this is a classic that everybody loves especially here in the middle grade community on booktube so i'm excited to try this one out yeah i don't know much about it i don't want to know much about it i am going to read it and then for me recommending to you i'm actually going to recommend books that i have read two times um at least and that i've reread recently and i still feel that they hold up one of them is Holes by Lewis Sacker, which came out in 1999. I really, really enjoyed my rereading of this, and I love all like the little, I don't know, I feel like there's like little treasures and little mysteries hidden in it as well. That as a reader, you're kind of like, what is happening? There's a lot of intrigue in this book. And then last but not least is Sideways Stories from Wayside School, which it's by Lewis Sacker too, isn't it? It is. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go. I reread both of those recently. Sideways Stories was literally the book for me when I was growing up as a kid. I thought it was hilarious in elementary school. And I reread it this year because I read it for a book club that I was holding for kids. And I really, really enjoyed it. I still thought that it was quite funny. And that's, again, another shorter one. And if you aren't aware, he's also put out new books in the series. Something about Doom and then there's like thunderstorms on the front cover. Beneath the Cloud of Doom. So those are the new ones that are coming out. And it's the fourth book in the series and that is it i think i definitely have like a list of other things that i would want to get to but i really don't feel like i'm gonna get to more than these so i'm gonna focus on these six and hopefully i get through all of them thank you so much for watching i hope that you're participating for middle grade march and if you are that you have lots of fun and i will see you in my next video bye bye